This is Movie Tone, Geoffrey Shirley reporting. <laughs> Sweltering in the burning heat of the Persian Gulf, the town of Kuwait, capital of the small Arab state and the latest flashpoint in the Middle East. The Saif Palace, residence of the ruler of the country. And indicating loyalty to him, his portrait is displayed on many a car. Sheikh Sir Abdullah Al Salim Al Sabah, now forced by the threat from Iraq to call for British help. British troops have been digging in, living and working in the red-hot wind, as their commander describes it. 120 in the shade, but no shade unless you count sandstorms. Ice, just what the doctor ordered. Moviton cameraman Ken Taylor sent this film dispatch. He's all burnt up too. Morale, however, is reported as terrific. Air Marshal Sir Charles Elworthy, CNC Middle East, and Brigadier Horsford supervising the build-up. Royal Air Force hunters were early on the scene, equipped for ground attack if Iraqis crossed the border. As the build-up neared completion, the accent was on supply, a task in which RAF transport aircraft are continuously engaged. How long supplies would be needed, how long the British force must stand to arms in the Kuwaiti desert, no one could tell at this stage. Britain, merely fulfilling her treaty obligations, established this deterrent force with speed and efficiency. We can only hope for the possibility of a speedy withdrawal of British troops. They're cheerfully bearing the heat and burden of the day, just in case Iraq attacks. <laughs> 